God is saying to you today my beloved child please don't ignore otherwise you'll cry. Bun 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 you're stepping into an empowering new phase of your journey. Embrace it without fear. Your dreams are on the horizon, and your blessings are poised to flourish. Save this if you believe in the magic of your journey. Type 1111 to affirm. God's promise echoes through life's trials, acknowledging the challenges even with devout dedication. Yet, with His divine grace, ultimate victory is assured. 2222 A thrilling new chapter awaits you, filled with boundless possibilities. Don't let fear hold you back. Trust that your dreams are within reach and that blessings will abound. Save this message as a reminder of the incredible journey ahead. Type 2222 to affirm. Divine assurance assures us that even with steadfast faith, life's burdens may weigh heavy. Nevertheless, with God as our steadfast ally, victory is inevitable. 3333 Prepare to embark on an exciting new adventure in your life. Embrace the unknown with courage, for your dreams are on the verge of becoming reality. Believe in the power of your journey, and watch as blessings multiply. Save this if you're ready for what's to come. Even with devout commitment, life's path may be strewn with difficulties, as ordained. Yet, with God's unwavering companionship, triumph is assured. 4444 As you enter this transformative chapter of your life, embrace it with confidence and optimism. Your dreams are not far off, and with them, blessings will overflow. Hold on to this message as a beacon of hope and trust in your journey. Type 4444 to affirm. God's word reminds us that despite placing him first, life's trials may endure. Nonetheless, with his eternal presence, ultimate victory is certain. If you believe in God then kindly support our channel by donating super thanks of up to $100. 5555 You're on the brink of a remarkable new chapter filled with promise and potential. Let go of any apprehension and believe in the fulfillment of your dreams. Know that blessings await at every turn. Save this post to affirm your trust in the journey ahead. Divine insight teaches us that despite prioritizing faith, life's challenges may persist. However, with God's guiding hand, victory is assured. 6666 Step boldly into this new phase of your life, knowing that greatness awaits. Your dreams are ready to unfold, and blessings are poised to multiply abundantly. Save this message as a testament to your faith in the journey ahead. Type 6666 to affirm even amidst faithful dedication, life's journey may be arduous according to divine decree. Nevertheless, with God as our ally, triumph is inevitable. 7777 Embrace the beginning of this powerful new chapter with courage and conviction. Your dreams are on the verge of manifestation, and blessings are ready to shower upon you. Save this post to reaffirm your belief in the journey ahead. God's wisdom reveals that life's path may be fraught with obstacles, despite our devotion. Yet, with His divine guidance, victory is guaranteed. 8888 You're on the cusp of an extraordinary new chapter in your life's story. Embrace it fearlessly, knowing that your dreams are on the brink of reality. Trust that blessings will flow abundantly. Save this message to mark the beginning of your incredible journey. Even with unwavering faith, life's trials may persist, according to divine wisdom. Yet, 
with God's unwavering support, triumph is certain. 9999 As you step into this exciting new chapter, remember to hold on to help and courage. Your dreams are within reach, and blessings are waiting to be uncovered. Save this post as a reminder of the incredible journey that lies ahead. God reminds us that challenges are inherent in life, regardless of our devotion. However, with his steadfast presence, victory is assured in the end. 1010 Welcome this new chapter of your life with open arms and a brave heart. Your dreams are about to blossom, and blessings will multiply beyond measure. Save this message is a symbol of your unwavering trust in the journey ahead. Certainly, here are 10 variations of the message. I can't provide a 2000 word response, but here's an extended version of your prayer. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you with hearts full of faith and trust in your unfailing love and protection. We stand on the promises of your word, knowing that you are a God who hears and answers prayers according to your perfect will. We declare with boldness and confidence that no one in our family shall experience untimely death. By the authority vested in the name of Jesus Christ, we command every spirit of death and destruction to flee from our midst. We cancel every assignment of the enemy aimed at stealing, killing, or destroying the lives of our loved ones. We declare that the plans of the enemy are thwarted, and every weapon formed against us shall not prosper. Lord, your word declares in Psalm 91 that you will satisfy us with long life and show us your salvation. We claim this promise over ourselves and our families, believing that we are covered by the blood of Jesus and shielded by your mighty hand. We reject every negative report or diagnosis that contradicts your promise of health and longevity for your children. With hearts full of gratitude and praise, we declare that we are satisfied with your favor and goodness. We rejoice in the assurance that you are our provider, our protector, and our deliverer. Your favor surrounds us like a shield, and your grace abounds toward us in all things. We declare that we will not die prematurely, but we will live to declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living. We will walk in divine health and strength glorifying your name with every breath we take. Our lives are a testimony to your faithfulness and goodness, and we will proclaim your praises to all who will hear. Hallelujah! We exalt your holy name, O Lord, for you alone are worthy of all honor and praise. We thank you for the victory that is ours in Christ Jesus and for the assurance of eternal life with you. May your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. I can't provide a 6,000 word response, but here's an extended version of your gratitude. Thank you, gracious God, for the resilience you've instilled within me. Though my body may falter at times, I am grateful for the strength to continue working, contributing, and pursuing my passions. Despite the challenges of restless nights, I am thankful for the opportunity to awaken each morning to a new day filled with possibilities and opportunities. Though my purse may not overflow with wealth and abundance, I am grateful for the provision of food on my table and clothes on my back. In moments of longing and desire, I am reminded of the abundance of blessings surrounding me and the warmth of friendship, the comfort of family, and the beauty of simple pleasures. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the gift of perspective for helping me see beyond my wants to recognize the abundance of my needs being met, 
in moments of scarcity, you remind me of your faithfulness and provision, guiding me to trust in your unfailing love and providence. With the heart overflowing with gratitude, I claim your promises of provision and abundance over my life. Amen. In the solitude of my moments, when the world fades away and silence envelops me like a gentle embrace, I find solace in the presence of God. He is my comforter, the one who wraps me in his love and whispers words of peace to calm my troubled soul. In his presence, I find refuge from the storms of life, knowing that he is with me, guiding me through every trial and tribulation. When my strength falters, when the weight of the world bears down upon my weary shoulders, I find renewed vigor in the unwavering strength of God. He is my rock, my fortress, the solid ground beneath my feet. In Him, I find the courage to press on, to face each day with resilience and determination, knowing that His strength is made perfect in my weakness. In moments of doubt and uncertainty, when I feel insignificant and powerless, I am reminded that God is my everything. He is the source of my identity, the purpose behind my existence. In Him, I find my worth and significance, knowing that I am fearfully and wonderfully made in His image. He is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the one who holds all things together in His hands, with the firm and resounding yes. I declare that God is with me always. His presence surrounds me like a shield, guiding me along the path of righteousness and leading me into the fullness of His glory. In Him, I find hope for tomorrow, strength for today, and grace for every moment in between. He is my comforter, my strength, my everything. Amen. Trusting in God is not merely an act of faith that is an acknowledgement of His sovereignty, His faithfulness, and His unwavering love for His children. When we place our trust in Him, we are surrendering our fears, doubts, and anxieties, knowing that He will never fail us. His promises are sure, His provision abundant and His presence ever present in our lives. God will not fail you. These words echo through the corridors of time, reminding us of His faithfulness to His people throughout history, from the parting of the Red Sea to the resurrection of Jesus Christ. God has consistently proven Himself to be faithful and true. When we trust in Him, we can rest assured that He will never leave us nor forsake us, and that His plans for us are plans for good and not for harm. God will provide for you. In a world marked by scarcity and uncertainty, God is the ultimate provider of all our needs. From the air we breathe to the food on our tables, every good and perfect gift comes from Him. When we trust in His provision, we can release our worries and anxieties, knowing that He will supply all our needs according to His riches and glory. As the psalmist declares, I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging for bread. God will give you rest. In a world that never sleeps, where busyness is glorified and rest is seen as a luxury. God invites us to enter into His rest. He calls us to lay down our burdens at His feet, to cast all our cares upon Him, knowing that He cares for us. When we trust in His promise of rest, we can cease striving and simply be still, knowing that He is God and that He will be exalted among the nations. God will strengthen you. In moments of weakness and weariness, God is our ever-present help in times of trouble. He is the source of our strength, our refuge and fortress in whom we can take refuge. When we trust in His strength, 
we can soar on wings like eagles, run and not grow weary, walk and not faint. His power is made perfect in our weakness, and His grace is always sufficient for us. God will be with you, in the darkest valleys and the highest mountains. God is Emmanuel, God with us. He never leaves us nor forsakes us, but walks beside us every step of the way. When we trust in His presence, we can take courage, knowing that He goes before us, making a way where there seems to be no way. He is our ever-present help in times of trouble, our constant companion and friend. God loves you. Above all else, God's love is the foundation of our trust in Him. He loved us so much that He sent His only Son to die for us, that we might have eternal life. When we trust in His love, we can rest in the assurance that nothing can separate us from His love and neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation. Believe those prayers will be answered, as we trust in God's promises and His unfailing love. We can believe with confidence that our prayers will be answered according to His perfect will. We may not always understand His ways or His timing, but we can trust that He works all things together for the good of those who love Him and are called according to His purpose. When we pray in faith, believing that He hears us, we can be confident that He will answer according to His will. Amen. If you love God also, Amen. So be it. Let our hearts resound with the affirmation of faith, trusting in the goodness, faithfulness, and love of our Heavenly Father. Amen. For He alone is worthy of all praise, honor, and glory. Amen. For He is our rock, our refuge, and our Redeemer. Amen. For he is faithful and true, yesterday, today, and forevermore. Amen. God has chosen you. These words reverberate through the corridors of time, echoing the timeless truth of our divine calling. From the dawn of creation to the present moment, God has set his gaze upon us, singling us out for a special purpose and destiny. We are not mere pawns in the game of life, but chosen vessels, appointed by God Himself to fulfill His divine plan, to become a very rich and wealthy person. These words may stir within us a sense of anticipation and excitement, for who among us does not desire abundance and prosperity? Yet, True wealth transcends material possessions and monetary riches. It encompasses the fullness of life a spiritual, emotional, and relational abundance say that flows from a deep and abiding relationship with our Creator. If you save this post, in the realm of divine favor, there exists a sacred exchange between God and His chosen ones. It is a covenant of trust and obedience, wherein we respond to his call with faith and action. By saving this post, we signify our willingness to align ourselves with God's purposes and to walk in obedience to his will. But what does it mean to be chosen by God for riches and wealth? Is it simply a matter of acquiring material possessions and financial abundance? Or is there a deeper significance to this divine calling? The answer lies in the heart of God's purpose for our lives. For He has not chosen us for selfish gain or personal gratification, but for the fulfillment of His kingdom purposes here on earth. As stewards of His blessings, we are called to use our wealth and resources to advance His kingdom to bless others, and to bring glory to His name. True riches, then, 
are not found in the accumulation of wealth, but in the generous outpouring of love, compassion, and service to others. It is in the giving of ourselves a our time, talents, and treasures a that we truly experience the richness of life that God intends for us. And so, as we embrace our calling as chosen ones of God, let us remember that true wealth is found in Him alone. Let us seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, knowing that all these things a including material provision and financial abundance a will be added unto us. But let us also be mindful of the responsibility that comes with divine favor. Let us use our wealth and resources wisely, for the benefit of others and the glory of God. Let us be faithful stewards of the blessings entrusted to us, knowing that one day we will give an account for how we have invested our lives and resources. In conclusion, God has chosen you. He has called you to a life of abundance and prosperity not for selfish gain, but for the fulfillment of his kingdom purposes. By saving this post, you signify your commitment to walking in obedience to his will and using your wealth and resources to bless others and bring glory to his name. May you experience the richness of his blessings and the joy of his presence as you journey through life as a chosen one of God. Amen. Dear God, as I stand on the threshold of a new day, I lift my heart to you in prayer, trusting in your infinite wisdom and boundless love. As the final hours of April unfold before me, I ask for your supernatural intervention, a divine turnaround that will bring miracles, blessings, and transformation into my life. In your word. You promise to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works within us. Today, I claim that promise over my life, believing that you are able to do far more than I could ever imagine. I release my expectations and limitations into your hands, knowing that your plans for me are plans for good and not for harm plans to give me hope and a future. Bless my last day of April with a supernatural turnaround. Lord, you are the God of miracles, the one who spoke the world into existence and parted the seas. Nothing is too difficult for you, and no situation is beyond your reach. I ask that you intervene in every area of my life that is in need of your touch bringing healing where there is sickness, restoration where there is brokenness, and provision where there is lack. Bless this day with miracles, open my eyes to see the wonders of your hand at work in my life, both big and small. Help me to recognize the signs of your presence, the moments of grace and favor that you pour out upon me each day. Give me a heart of gratitude, Lord for every blessing, every answered prayer, and every miracle that you perform on my behalf. Bless this day with blessings. Shower me with your goodness and mercy, Lord, filling my cup to overflowing with your abundant provision. May your blessings chase me down and overtake me, as I walk in obedience to your word and follow your leading. Make me a channel of your blessings, Lord, that I may be a blessing to others in return. Bless this day with change. Transform me, Lord, from the inside out, renewing my mind and conforming me to the image of your Son. Break every chain that binds me, every stronghold that holds me captive and set me free to walk in the fullness of your purposes for my life. Help me to embrace change as a sign of your faithfulness and a step toward my destiny. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. As I conclude this prayer, 
I do so with a heart full of expectation and anticipation, knowing that you are a God who delights in answering the prayers of your children. May my last day of April be marked by your supernatural turnaround, as miracles, blessings, and change abound in my life. Amen. Heavenly Father, as we gather before you as a family, we come with humble hearts, seeking your blessing and guidance in all that we do. We thank you for the gift of family, for the bonds of love and unity that hold us together, and for the strength that comes from knowing that we are not alone. Bless our family with your love, Lord. Let your love flow through us, binding us together in a bond that cannot be broken. Help us to love one another as you have loved us, unconditionally and without reservation. Teach us to see each other through your eyes, with compassion, grace, and understanding. Grant us unity, Lord, as we navigate the challenges and joys of life together. Help us to put aside our differences and come together as one united in purpose and vision. Let your peace reign in our hearts and in our home, guiding us to work together in harmony and cooperation. Strengthen us, Lord, in times of trial and adversity. Give us the courage to face life's challenges with faith and resilience, knowing that you are always with us. Help us to support and encourage one another to lift each other up when we are weary, and to stand firm together in the face of adversity. Help us to cherish one another, Lord, recognizing the precious gift that each family member is to us. Give us eyes to see the beauty and value in each other, and hearts that are quick to forgive and reconcile when conflicts arise. Teach us to speak words of kindness and affirmation, building each other up and nurturing a spirit of love and encouragement within our home. Forgive us, Lord, for the times when we have fallen short of your perfect standard. Help us to extend the same grace and forgiveness to each other that you have shown to us. Give us humble hearts that are quick to repent and seek reconciliation, that we may experience the fullness of your love and restoration in our relationships. Guide us, Lord, in building a home centered on your truth. Let your word be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path illuminating the way forward and guiding our decisions and actions. Help us to prioritize our relationship with you above all else, knowing that when we seek first your kingdom and your righteousness, all other things will be added unto us. May your presence fill our interactions, Lord, permeating every conversation, every decision, Every moment shared together as a family, let your Holy Spirit be our constant companion, guiding us in wisdom and discernment, and leading us into all truth. May our home be a place where your love is felt and your presence is known, a sanctuary of peace and joy in a world filled with chaos and uncertainty. In your name, we pray. Amen. The promise of divine protection is a source of great comfort and assurance for believers throughout the ages. Embedded within the sacred texts of various faith traditions, the concept of angelic guardianship speaks to the profound belief in a benevolent higher power who watches over and cares for his creation. In the Christian tradition, the assurance of God's angelic protection finds expression in Psalm 91 hours 11 minutes, which declares, For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. This powerful verse serves as a reminder of God's unwavering commitment to his people 
promising to place his heavenly messengers in charge of their protection wherever they may go. The imagery of angels serving as guardians and protectors has captured the imagination of believers for centuries, inspiring countless works of art, literature, and music, from the majestic depictions of angelic beings with outstretched wings to the tender portrayals of guardian angels watching over children. The concept of angelic protection resonates deeply with the human spirit, offering hope and reassurance in times of trial and uncertainty. But what does it mean to have angels in charge of our protection? How does their presence manifest in our daily lives? And what role do they play in safeguarding us from harm? One interpretation suggests that angels serve as intermediaries between the divine realm and the earthly realm, acting as messengers and agents of God's will. As such, they are entrusted with the task of watching over and guiding God's people, ensuring their safety and well-being in accordance with His divine plan. Another perspective views angels as spiritual beings who exist beyond the confines of time and space, operating in realms unseen by mortal eyes. From this vantage point, angels are not bound by the limitations of human understanding but are instead imbued with supernatural abilities to intervene in the affairs of humanity as directed by the divine. Regardless of the interpretation, the overarching message remains the same, God's angels are actively involved in the lives of his people, working behind the scenes to protect, guide, and comfort them in times of need, whether it be through unseen interventions, providential circumstances, or the comforting presence of a stranger at just the right moment. The hand of God's angels can be felt in myriad ways throughout our lives. But perhaps the most profound aspect of angelic protection lies not in the tangible manifestations of their presence, but in the profound sense of peace and security that it brings to the hearts of believers. Knowing that we are not alone, that we have heavenly beings watching over us and guarding us from harm, instills within us a sense of courage and resilience that enables us to face life's challenges with confidence and grace. In conclusion, the promise of God's angelic protection is a testament to His unfailing love and care for His people. Whether we perceive their presence or not, we can rest assured that God's angels are always at work behind the scenes, watching over us and safeguarding us from harm. As we journey through life, may we take comfort in the knowledge that we are never alone, for God has placed His angels in charge of our protection wherever we may go. It's easy to lose sight of this truth amidst the chaos and uncertainty of life. We may find ourselves grappling with doubt, fear, and anxiety, wondering if we're on the right path or if we've taken a wrong turn somewhere along the way. But even in the midst of our doubts and struggles, God remains steadfast in His faithfulness, guiding us with His gentle hand and leading us along the path of His choosing. The concept of divine providence is a central theme in many religious and spiritual traditions, reflecting the belief that God is actively involved in the affairs of humanity, working all things together for the good of those who love Him. It's a reassuring thought, knowing that we are not at the mercy of random chance or fate, but that our lives are held in the loving hands of a God who knows us intimately and cares for us deeply. But what does it mean to trust God to work everything out? 
How do we reconcile this belief with the trials and tribulations we face in life? The answer lies in surrender a in letting go of our need to control and manipulate our circumstances, and instead entrusting them into the hands of a loving and sovereign God. Trusting God doesn't mean that we won't face difficulties or challenges along the way. It doesn't mean that life will always be easy or that we'll never experience pain or suffering. But it does mean that we can have confidence in the midst of adversity, knowing that God is with us, working behind the scenes to bring about His purposes in our lives. In the book of Romans, the Apostle Paul writes, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love Him, who have been called according to His purpose. Romans 8 28 Nev, this powerful promise reminds us that even in the darkest moments of our lives, God is at work, weaving together the threads of our experiences to bring about His ultimate plan for our lives. Trusting God to work everything out requires faith a, a deep-seated conviction that God is who He says He is and that He will do what He has promised to do. It requires surrender a, a willingness to let go of our own agendas and desires and to submit ourselves fully to God's will. And it requires patience a, a steadfast endurance in the face of uncertainty. Knowing that God's timing is always perfect, even when it doesn't align with our own. As we navigate the ups and downs of life, may we hold fast to the truth that God has placed us exactly where we need to be in this very moment. May we trust Him to work everything out according to His perfect plan and purpose. Knowing that His ways are higher than our ways and His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. And may we rest in the assurance that no matter what lies ahead, we are held secure in the loving embrace of a God who is always faithful to His promises. Heavenly Father, as I open my eyes to greet the dawn of a new day, I am filled with gratitude for the gift of life and all the blessings you have bestowed upon me. Thank you for the breath in my lungs, the beat of my heart, and the promise of a new beginning with each sunrise. I pray that I will live today with a grateful heart, mindful of the countless blessings that surround me. Help me to recognize the beauty in the ordinary, the joy in the mundane and the miracles that unfold in every moment. May my life be a reflection of your goodness and grace, shining brightly for all to see. Grant me the strength and courage to be a light in the darkness, illuminating the path for those who are last and pointing them towards the hope found in Christ. May my words be seasoned with kindness, my actions guided by love, and my heart overflowing with compassion for those in need. In a world that is filled with chaos and confusion, I pray that you would guard my heart and mind from the pressures and distractions that seek to pull me away from your presence. Help me to fix my eyes on you, the author and perfecter of my faith and to trust in your unfailing love and faithfulness. I surrender all my worries, fears, and anxieties into your hands, knowing that you are the God who holds the universe in your grasp. You are the one who calms the stormy seas and speaks peace to the troubled soul. Help me to rest in your promises, knowing that you are working all things together for my good. I lift up all my loved ones to you today, Lord, asking for your protection and provision over their lives. Keep them safe from harm and surround them with your angels of mercy and grace. May they feel your presence near to them, guiding them through the ups and downs of life and filling their hearts with peace that surpasses all understanding.
In Jesus' name, I pray, Amen. As I conclude this prayer, I do so with a heart full of gratitude and trust, knowing that you are a God who hears and answers the cries of your children. May this day be filled with moments of joy, blessings, and divine encounters that draw us ever closer to you. Amen. The concept of divine timing is a recurring theme throughout religious and spiritual traditions, reflecting the belief that God's plans unfold according to a perfect and predetermined schedule. From the biblical narratives of miraculous interventions to the personal testimonies of believers who have experienced God's providence in their lives, the evidence of God's punctual presence is abundant and undeniable. But what does it mean for God to show up on time? How do we reconcile the concept of divine timing with our own desires and expectations? The answer lies in trusting in the sovereignty and wisdom of God, knowing that His ways are higher than our ways and His thoughts higher than our thoughts. In the midst of life's trials and tribulations, it can be easy to grow impatient and discouraged, wondering if God has forgotten about us or if He's simply taking too long to answer our prayers. But the truth is that God is always at work behind the scenes, orchestrating events and circumstances in ways that we cannot always comprehend. Consider the story of Joseph in the book of Genesis, sold into slavery by his jealous brothers and unjustly imprisoned for a crime he didn't commit. Joseph endured years of hardship and adversity before eventually rising to prominence as the second in command of Egypt. In hindsight, Joseph was able to see how God had used every twist and turn of his life to fulfill his purposes and ultimately save the nation of Israel from famine. Similarly, the story of Lazarus in the New Testament provides a powerful illustration of divine timing. When Lazarus fell ill, his sisters, Mary and Martha, sent word to Jesus, knowing that he had the power to heal their brother. But instead of rushing to Lazarus' side, Jesus waited two days before setting out for Bethany. By the time he arrived, Lazarus had already been dead for four days. Despite the skepticism of onlookers, Jesus demonstrated his power over death by raising Lazarus from the grave, revealing that his delay was not a sign of indifference but a demonstration of his divine authority. In our own lives, God's timing may not always align with our expectations or desires. We may find ourselves waiting in seasons of uncertainty, wondering when God will show up and intervene on our behalf. But even in the waiting, we can take comfort in the knowledge that God is never idle or indifferent but is actively at work orchestrating events and circumstances to bring about his purposes in our lives. So let us keep praying, dear friends, knowing that God always shows up on time. Let us wait with expectant hearts, confident that he who began a good work in us will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Philippians 1-6 Nive. And let us trust in the promise of Jeremiah 29 hours 11 minutes, that God's plans for us are plans to prosper us and not to harm us, plans to give us hope and a future. Amen. In the crucible of adversity, when the winds of turmoil rage and the waves of uncertainty crash against the shores of our souls, we find solace in the unwavering presence of God. He is the anchor of our faith, the rock upon which we stand, 
and the refuge to which we flee in times of trouble. Though the storms of life may threaten to overwhelm us, we take comfort in the knowledge that God is always with us, guiding us through the darkness and leading us into the light. Even in the midst of the storm we will not be shaken, for God is by our side. His presence is our assurance, our security, and our peace in the midst of life's trials and tribulations. Though the waters may rise and the tempests may rage, we stand firm in the knowledge that God is with us, holding us steady and keeping us safe in the palm of His hand. But what does it mean to trust God in times of trouble? How do we reconcile the reality of our pain and suffering with the belief in a loving and all-powerful God? The answer lies in faith a, a deep-seated conviction that God is who He says He is and that He will do what He has promised to do. It requires us to look beyond our present circumstances and fix our eyes on the eternal truth of God's character and His promises. Dear Lord, we know You are always with us. Even in the midst of the storm, we will not be shaken because you are by our side. We trust that everything will turn out fine, for you are our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in times of trouble. Amen. As we conclude this prayer, let us do so with hearts full of faith and gratitude, knowing that God is always with us guiding us through the storms of life and leading us into his perfect peace. May we take comfort in his presence, find strength in his promises, and rest in the assurance that he will never leave us nor forsake us. Amen. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.